Hello, my name is Sean Everett and I am the website analysis expert over Zucor Marketing. Somebody there in HQ Remodeling talked to Megan, thank you for doing that, and said, hey, yeah, send us a video and just put it to the general email. In which case, I kind of wonder, does anyone ever see it? Or is that just, is it a brush off or is it just a, well, we're not sure who's going to watch it. Either way. I'm very glad if somebody is watching this and I will give you my honest assessment, I promise. And uh, first off, you have a beautiful website um, and uh, I want to <laughs> tell you that all of this beautiful videography and uh, drone work and handheld stuff that you do is just fascinating to watch. It's a great way to to meet your company, to be honest. You have a lot of interactivity. Um, and the only thing that I saw that I thought was kind of weird was way down here at the bottom. There we go. We serve Orange County, LA, and the surrounding area. And I just wanted to let you know that anybody who is in the surrounding area doesn't refer to themselves that way. Like, uh, you know, I'm looking for a home remodel uh, in the surrounding area. Uh, they like to have their communities mentioned. They like to have their their cities as part of what you actually serve. A lot of companies actually have pages that are devoted to the various communities that they serve, just as sort of an offshoot. Um, but uh, it's up to you. Um, there's a lot of communities. I mean, you know, if I was in Downey, I wouldn't necessarily care, but... Uh, you know, Huntington Beach, I'm sure you have that mentioned on there as one of the offices. But anyway, you know, what I'm going to show you in this video is how you can use your existing website to get more customers online. That's the basic part of what I'm doing. Now, I'm going to show you a few things uh, that you can implement right now. And I'll also be showing you one of your uh, competitors' websites because it's the best way to demonstrate how the numbers uh, are are having them uh, showing that they beat you, but uh, you know I, I'm also going to tell you how to counteract that. So you know it's a win-win. Now um, the first thing I do after looking at this site is I go to this paid uh, site that I have. I have a subscription here. It's called Ahrefs, and uh, it shows me the metrics of your site, how it's been performing over the last couple of months. And the next thing I do is I go and do a regular old Google search for L.A. Uh, remodeler. Now, I know that you're in Huntington Beach, but I also know that L.A. County is a much larger place since I lived there for so many years. Um, and uh, <laughs> it's it's uh, probably more important to show you what your com com competition. I don't know why my tongue isn't working. What your competition is doing in a larger scale than just Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach, where my mom got her first ticket in her life by walking my dog back in the 80s. Um, uh, so I'm going to describe how Google works because a lot of people don't know. And what you don't know, you can't take advantage of. Google has ways that it operates, and you want to know what those ways are. I'm going to describe how they work by showing you the results of this uh, page here that I've done, this Google search. And I'm going to tell you why Google likes it and uh, what their reasoning is. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is show you that these top ones here are paid. They call it sponsored at Google because it sounds more like they're helping the Little League team. But no, these folks are, you know, they didn't, they sponsor Google. They're paying Google. Um, now there's more sponsored down here. And then we come to what we call the map pack. And these folks here, you are on this map pack in Huntington Beach, by the way. If I did a Huntington Beach, California remodeler, you are right there. But this place is, uh, it's great. It's great to be here and it's great to be down here. It would be great to be in both places. Just one place is not very profitable, as it turns out. Um, the nice thing about this is, though, that it does uh, uh, come closer to the top of a Google search. Um, I, so it's not a, a, a it's not a useless place to be at all. But uh, the way that you got here uh, in Huntington Beach, for instance, is that you filled out a Google Business Profile, and uh, you filled out a bunch of information, and uh, you did it thoroughly enough and precisely enough that the computer company Google decided that it was uh, good to reward you with that, uh, you know 
bonus for being in Huntington Beach. But in the larger Los Angeles area, you're one of many, unfortunately. And so what we're talking about now is the ability to uh, improve your standing in a Google search. Google is responsible for 96% of the traffic on the internet. Uh, most people find where they're going by Googling something first. Uh, for uh, In the case of contractors, it could be Angie's List, it could be Yelp, but uh, uh, most people will find you by doing a Google search. So uh, it's important that you kind of play by their rules. Now, this is the very first thing that the Google algorithm is looking for. The Google algorithm was developed by Google to sort of crawl the internet, look for various um, uh, things, <laughs> attributes of websites that uh, they reward because uh, Google is a, you know, a, a computer company. So, uh, you know, they're looking for a way to ensure that their search customers get the most relevant results. But for them, relevancy is different than it is for you and me. I would want somebody that has uh, good customer relations and uh, gets good reviews from the folks that have, you know, hired them. Uh, Google wants you to have a good website. So, you know, you choose what you want. But either way, it's what we have. So that's why I'm telling you about it, because a lot of really worthy people are not being seen. And uh, so this right up here is the very first thing that the algorithm wants from you. It wants two basic other things, too. Uh, and I'm going to show you what those are next. Underneath the map pack, we have what we call the organic search results. And this is really where the cream starts. Uh, most people sort of breeze by those because they're not sure what that means, why they're separated from some degree. But just so you know, you can be both here and here, and it's useful for that reason. Now, in the organic search results, we call it that because uh, you don't have to do anything other than have a website to be on it. Uh, but you don't have to fill out a profile or anything like that. Google will just put you on as long as you have a website. Now, uh, the very first actual contractor I come across is Southland Remodeling. Uh, they're underneath the house list and above the Yelp list. Uh, here is their website. Uh, and the reason I'm showing it to you is I'm going to refer to them as your Google competitor in the L.A. area. Here is uh, your website. I'm going to do something really fast again here. Copy and then paste into this Word document. Uh, it's a uh, word counter, actually. You guys have done great. 1940 words. I love it. Let's see how much they have. Uh, copy and paste. Uh, 959. So you have them beat handily. That is wonderful. And you are above the threshold of what Google wants at 1,500 words. Maybe you already know about these things. That's wonderful if you do. Um, so at 1940 words, that's great. And you probably then know that all words are not equal at Google. And what they're looking for are keywords. Now, this is where you might be falling behind a little bit. Because keywords are words that come from your industry. In other words, your site or the sites of your competitors. And they, uh, Google takes them all out, mashes them together, and sees which ones appear most, which little key phrases, if you will. And um, uh, keywords come from uh, your competitors. They come from the areas that you serve, and they also come from Google searches. Now, you have 25, and your competitor has 3,100. Let me show you what their keywords are. And it's going to not make much sense in a way because a lot of it's going to seem very repetitive. But uh, shower ceiling ideas, kitchen remodel Los Angeles, bathroom remodeling Los Angeles, garage man cave ideas. Now, uh, oh, my man cave garage ideas. Uh, now, here's the thing. Those look like very similar searches, but they're not because the algorithm does not have any intelligence or any ability to reason. It does not know that words in different orders are very similar or the same. It does not know singular and plural. It does not know that... Uh, you know, bathroom and toilet and all of the other things that we refer to the bathroom as are related. It has no idea. It's just looking for whatever phrases that it's looking for. And if these two phrases there are what it's been programmed to look for, that's what it's going to look for. And if you have one but not the other, well, then you're not going to get on that particular run that the algorithm is doing. Um, now, I know in LA there's a lot of man cave ideas stuff, but. Uh, this is essentially stuff from uh, your industry. And, and as you see, like Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles, 
it's starting to get the communities involved that, uh, are, you know, you deal with in the LA area. Um, uh, usually there's more sort of uh, industry stuff in here that I can point to, but I don't see anything today. But this is just a smattering. They have 95 pages of these little phrases, and that's kind of, well, it's easy for me to see because I have this tool. It would be essentially something you could do by doing Google searches of your competitors. But uh, anyway, the next thing I'm going to show you is your backlinks. Backlinks is where your site appears on somebody else's site. Uh, and uh, for instance, if you're on Yelp, just like we talked about, if you're on Yelp, then uh, there might be a link back to your site if you have your URL there. Boy, that tongue is not doing it today. Now, what we're really interested in is are the 38 domain. Uh, that's the referring domains. You have 38 of those, and your competitor has 106. So you guys are neck and neck. I'm going to show you what their uh, domains are. Yahoo, Expertise. Uh, I don't know why they're in the Sun UK. That's a daily newspaper in the UK. I don't know. But Martha Stewart, Bob Vila, Family Handyman, Daily Herald. There we go. West Side newspaper. Um, and uh, this is, uh, or South Bay, I should say. Um, this is great for them because a lot of these are rated in the 90s. This is what they call the domain rating. It shows the strength of a domain's backlink profile, meaning your website has a domain backlink profile of 2.6 because you don't have that many people referring to you. But these folks have a lot of people referring to them. That's why they have a high domain rating. So you want yours to be in the 70s to the 90s, ideally. This is a scale of 0 to 100. So, uh, But you're going to have some local ones, you know, like um, more local weekly newspapers, perhaps, or, or the Chamber of Commerce or something like that. And you want those. You really do. Now, uh, this is what it all comes down to. Uh, your backlinks and your keywords have led you to have traffic last month from Google searches. Uh, four. Four visitors to your site last month. That's up one from the month before where you had three visitors. Now I'm going to show you what your competitor had. They had 3,600 as a result of these two numbers being fairly uh, uh, robust. Um, keywords obviously counts for a lot because, well, Google searches are word searches. So words um, matter more than this. But uh, uh, this is money left on the table and i'm going to show you why it's because of their position here they're at the top of this search uh and uh the other thing i'm going to do is i'm going to uh just uh scroll down in a google search and i want you to think about your own google behavior and that is when you are searching for something how far down do you scroll before you say to yourself you know what i probably have what i need from here on up I'll be good with whatever this is. I'm going to stop now because if I start keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, I'm probably not going to get into, you know, results that are all that useful to me. Um, and I guess my question is, would you have scrolled this far looking for a uh, remodeler in, in the L.A. County area? Yeah, I'm still going. You know, what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to see if I can find it just by putting HQ. There we go. HQ not found. That's a shame. You're not in the first four pages of results. And that is exactly why you have four visitors. So uh, anyway, to summarize, here's what we're talking about. We're talking about Google uh, uh, business profile. We're talking about keywords and we're talking about backlinks. And these are all things that you could implement right now if you wanted. Now we can help you make these changes and, and the goal of us helping you would be to get more new customers. Now uh, Megan's going to be following up with you to get some feedback uh, about the ideas that I've talked about in this video and I just want to thank you for your time, whoever you are, and hopefully you enjoyed watching this and got some uh, new ideas. Hopefully I was helpful. Have a great day.